Good afternoon, everybody, and it's your old pal Joker with more sports with Joker, and I am back with another video for you of sports. This time, we're going to do football. And as you can see, I have Patrick Mahomes, Jalen Hurts, two of the best quarterbacks in the league who are going to the Super Bowl. And as projected in the beginning of the season, Jalen Hurts was projected to go to the Super Bowl at the beginning of the season. I picked the Dallas Cowboys, which is no way to live. I shouldn't have done that. Learn what we'll, to learn. <clears throat> then Patrick Mahomes. Obviously, Patrick Mahomes is probably the best quarterback in the AFC. Some will probably say in the NFL. But uh, I guess we'll see in the next weekend maybe when the, these two come head to head. And I personally, I picked the, uh, the Kansas City Chiefs. Because they have the experience and they have the better quarterback. At least I think so. But I also wanted to show you my new collect that I pulled out for this week. And I'm sorry I couldn't come give you any more contact because I had a emergency with one of my family members and the went the weather here in Texas has been super crazy. So I got Sky Moore refractory card. Look at that one. Come to we'll need him. Well they're gonna need him in the in the Super Bowl. George Carl Calavities. Chris Weber Prism, that's a nice one. I like that one. Wander Franco, rookie card. Francisco Lenore, Jonathan Kuna. I can't say that last name, but that's that's a pretty badass card. Asio Shizminu. And if I can't say these names right correctly, please I apologize and I don't wanna come out saying the wrong thing here. The great Tom Brady. Finally he retired again. This guy made my life a living hell over the 2000s. Every time he would play, every, every season, it would be like, oh, he's going to the playoffs. I'm sure he'd win. Kobe White, the Chicago Bulls. James Wiseman. Uh, LeBron James. His car would be, avail be valuable. All his Laker cars would be val uh, valuable because he will now be soon, maybe next week or a couple of, or the week after, he will break. The all-time scoring record, which is being held by the great Kareem Abdul-Jabbar, but it looks like LeBron James is gonna push him to the side, and he will be the number one scoring leader. Alex Bergman, and this is a good card, Pink Prism, and it's number four out of ten. So that's a good one. Tom Brady when he was with the New England Patriots, and I got this card with this pack, with this uh, gold action pack from 1990. The guy I bought it from sent me this card, and it was actually a pretty good card. It was complimentary because I bought this. I have no idea how much this is worth. I gotta look it up later. And the uh, sign, Alex Mahone, I can't say Alex Mana from the Toronto Blue Jays, and uh, it's a piece of memorabilia jersey he wore and it's autographed. I don't know how much this is worth. Cause I tried looking it up and I couldn't find it, but. I'm guessing right now it's not updated online, any of his uh, cards, but I would imagine this would be really valuable later on. Okay, up to the reason right here. This is called the 1990 Action Packed Football. Now, the reason you're not going to see a lot of Action Packed is because the company of Action Packed went out of business in 1995, and that's when the sports cards industry boomed. and. Everyone thought that so many people were going to get rich off uh, sports cards, but when you got all these crazies who are trying to buy sports cards, that's not, and thinking you're going to get rich and a lot of money off of it, that's not collecting, that's speculating. So, here we go. Action packed 1990 edition. And yes, I did open the wrap when I first got it because I wanted to see if the box was done, but it looks like it wasn't open, so. And uh, you won't see these cars anymore because, as I said, the company went out of business. And the most valuable card from this set right here is the Edmund Smith rookie card. And uh, hopefully he's in here. If not, then oh well. Hopefully we'll still get some good cards. Oh, this is nice actually. 1990 wrap gone. And the first card, oh, right here, is Jim 
pluck it. Uh, he won with the uh, Oakland Raiders. Uh, he was coached by the great uh, John, late John Madden. And this is a this is a Braille card. And the reason this he wanted a uh, because I think he was one of the I'm not sure if he was one of the investors from this company or he. No, not remember he if he. They asked him if he allowed to take a picture for the Go Action Pact, and uh, one of the conditions that he would go along with this, if he would be in the Go Action Pact, is because his parents were blind, and the only way he would go along with this is if he they would uh, make braille cards, so that his parents could see, you know, I guess how well he was doing. And it says right here, his Raiders win Super Bowl, Jim Pluckett named the MVP, and I thought that's a uh, pretty honorable right there. It's a nice card too. They're 3D and it's gold. Well, it's not really gold, but I still think it looks pretty cool. A lot of people say they don't like them, but I like them. Oh, look, first couple one. John Elway. Nice. John Elway. Troy Aikman. Three time Super Bowl champion. And then I have his. Uh, 1995 replica Super Bowl ring right there. It's not an actual Super Bowl ring, but it's a replica. I thought it looks pretty cool. And that's the last year this Cowboys won the Super Bowl. And I guess I have that there to remind myself that, well, that's how it was back in the glory days, because I don't think we're going to win anytime soon. But, uh, I could drink, can I? Albert Lewis, Mel Gray, Chris Dolman, Mark Clayton. Look at these cards. These are really nice. Look at that. Look at that picture, man. Marcus Allen, Hall of Famer. The Bill Brooks. What is this one, Tarler? Don Jaws, oh Jaws. Ron a lot. Looking for that Emmett Smith rookie card. Oops, this one's kind of has one right here next to it. Anthony Muller, Bobby Prister, Gary Hodgson, Chris Carter, CC. I remember him from the Minnesota Vikings. I mean, he was a uh, one of their best receivers. Along with Randy Moss when they when he first came into the league. Hall of Famer. Jeff Levin, Otis Anderson, Bobby Hebert, Irvin Fryer, Neil Anderson, Chicago Bears, Corleanis Bennett, Bill Florid, James Brooks, Bernie Cozier. He's a player for the Dallas Cowboys. Uh, he was a backup to Troy Eggman, I think. Yeah. Right. So far, pretty good cards. I like these. I wish they, I wish they still could have made them because I would have loved to buy baseball gold and action pack or basketball gold action pack. Look at that. Love it. Here we go. Chris Hendon. Well, no, we'll stop here. Man. The Passions of Time. Mike Fro Mike Rosier. Oops, let me put these down so I can try to open these. Sterling Sharp, Shannon Sharp's brother. Probably could have been one of the greats as well, but had it not been for that knee injury, he probably could have been one of the great all time receivers, along with his brother. Chris Billman. Oh. Oops, Mark Jackson. Nice, Paul Palmer. I don't know who that is. Ozzie Newsom. David Fluger. This is nice. I just don't know. I don't like that they're stuck yet, but that's what happens when we haven't been open since 1990. So. Andre Reed, Hall of Famer, with the Buffalo Bills, with Jim Kelly. And I remember those days when the Dallas Cowboys went up against with the with the Buffalo Bills. 
Two times we beat them, 1992 and 1993. Yep. Deion Sanders. This is my first Deion Sanders football card. I like this one. I have all his baseball, oh, not all his baseball cards, but I have mostly have baseball cards. And I'm guessing right here it's blank. They have this left little space because in case whenever you run into one of these players, they, they would sign them right here instead of signing them right here. So that's why they left these little white bars right here. But I finally got a Deion Sanders right here. Hall of Famer. Chris Mann. Lars State. Lars Tate. Oops. Kurt Warner. Not Kurt Warner, the quarterback. Kurt Warner, the running back. Jerry Rice. All right. Jerry Rice. This is my first Jerry Rice card. And look at that card. Look at that, that 3D Go card. This is a pretty good card. I like these cards. Look at that 3D picture. That's Jerry Rice. I guess that was back when he had when he had hair. God, I hated him though when he would play against the Cowboys. Though. Leslie O'Neill, Merrill Hodge, Stuart Mitchell, and Keith Jackson. Al Toon. I really thought these cars were not going to be in this good condition, but there's a way better condition. Because it's they haven't been open since 1990, and with the shipping and packaging, and he took very good cards. The guy I bought it from on on eBay, so give me a good price. Moving on, this Steve Durick, Howard Buntley, Daryl Drew. Brad Ford, Rod, ooh, Ronnie Pete, yeah, I remember him. Vance Johnson, played with John Elway. Eugene Lockard, I don't remember him, but. Reggie Longair, Tim McGee. Man, these cards are really stuck together. Richard Dent, Hall of Famer. Yeah, Richard Dent was a uh, one of the nineteen eighty five Chicago Bears. Mark, oops, who was that? John Taylor, Lee Williams. Don't know who they are, but Mark Kelso, Andre Bruce, Mark Rabin. Vinny Tisserini, he's played for the Dallas Cowboys, but by that time, uh, when he was coaching, I think under Bill Parcells, yeah, but by that time, Vinny Tisserini was already washed up and old, and he was not good. John A. Williams. Tonch Leakin. Val Shakima. <laughs> I'm saying. Seth Joyner. Jojo Townshill. Damn. These cards are really stuck together. Lawrence Taylor, LT. All right, another Hall of Famer. I think he's the greatest linebacker of all time, defensive player of all time. And uh, Michael Parsons, they would say that Michael Parsons is the next Lawrence Taylor, but I still, I still think Lawrence uh, Micah has a long way to go to be the same sense as Lawrence Taylor, though. Eric Martin. Stanley Martin, Morgan. Herschel Walker, Hall of Famer. Liked him better as a football player. I don't think he would have made it as a politician, though. But this is not a politic channel. Well, you got some little bit off the corners right here, but I guess that's to be expected with time. John Warfinell, Jim Arrett, Tim Brown. Seven more page. Still looking for that uh, Edmund Smith rookie card. Hopefully, it's in here. They say that car is probably worth about like maybe a thousand dollars. I checked last time I checked it on on eBay PSA ten. So hopefully it's in here. Oops, dropped on there. Okay. Dave Meggett. Dalton Hillard. Steve Grogan. Keith Miller. Dan Marino, no Hall of Famer. 
This is the only quarterback who was able to beat the 1985 Bears. And when every time he would snap the ball, he would throw right straight to the receiver. And like the Bears won't be able to keep up with that, despite him being one of the blessed, best blitzing defenses of all time. Henry Hellard, Steve Bluedard, Christian Oak. Challenge. Warren Moon, all right. Another Hall of Famer. Another Texas great quarterback. Well then. Tony Mardark. Eddie Murray. Bobby Humphrey. Ed Jones. Ed Tutal. Is that Ed Tutal Jones? Yeah, that's him. Ed Tutal Jones. Right there. He played uh, basketball and football. That's amazing. Yeah. And he played with the Lakers and played with the Dallas Cowboys. That's an amazing career. Be playing with the with the Los Angeles Lakers and win Super Bowl. Eric Metcalf. Or maybe I'm wrong. If I'm wrong, if well, they might be wrong about Ed Jones. If I'm wrong, please let me know in the comment section. Eric Metcalf. Boomer Easy, no Hall of Famer. No Hall of Famer played with the Cincinnati Bengals. Went to the Super Bowl against the San Francisco the 49ers, but lost to the great Joe Montana, Jerry Rice. Mike Singletary, Hall of Famer linebacker. 1985 Chicago Bears, he was the captain of that team. Shane Coogan. Chris Muller. Miller, I'm sorry. Daryl Green. Ruben Davis. Dave Carrick. Still looking for that uh, Dallas uh, Emma Smith rookie card, but still got plenty of cards to go. So you can tell right here. Thomas Thurman, all right. This is a nice one. One of the greatest running backs of all time. Was inducted into Hall of, Hall of Fame in the 2010s, I, I'm, uh, I think. Yeah, but this guy was a big-time... Running back back in the day. He just ended up losing to the greatest running back of all time, Evan Smith. Oops. Sean Collins. Art Monk. One of the greatest running receivers of all time with the Washington Redskins. I'm sorry, Commanders. Now, I can't say that. Should probably blur that out, but. By the way, the Washington Commanders is a terrible name for a football team. They should have just gone with that Washington Senators. Remember that movie from The Replacements? They should have just gone with that name. But the Commanders, I'm, I'm, I'm not feeling that. I don't think everyone else does. Mark Carrier. Jacob Green. Oh, look at this one. This has a little bit of damage right here. Yeah. But that's expected from these, from these cards. Whoops. Roger Craig. Jim McMahon. Oh, he was with the 1985 Chicago Bears. He was the quarterback. Yeah, he heard he was pretty much a troublemaker when he was with them. But hey, he was able to get them to the Super Bowl. So it worked for him. Louis, Blue. Louis Lips, Roy Green. He just. If I'm struggling, it's because I'm trying to take these cards art off because they're stuck to each other from. I'm not being open for 30 years, so please bear with me. Keith Bayers. Kyle Clifton. Oops. Okay. Gary Reasons. I think one of the all time great giants. Ricky Jackson. Robert Perryman. Whoops. Carl Lee. Lewis Oliver. Doug Smith. Willie Galt. Darren Cherry. Ray Donaldson. Mike Luchek, one of the uh, Hall of Famer. Great Houston Oilers. Uh, I gotta ask my my uncle 
Because he remembers playing with the Oilers. He remember not playing. He didn't play with the Oilers. I'm sorry. He remember watching the Oilers, and he was a huge Oilers fan too, with Earl Campbell and uh, Warren Moon, Mark Murphy, Wander, Wander Stanley. I'm looking for a Barry. There's a Barry Sanders card in here too, as well. So I'm looking for that card. Carl McBurr, Dane, Moon, Webster Slaw, Webster Slaughter. How much time do you have a name last name called Slaughter? Mr. Slaughter, come here. What's that dude? Anthony Muniz, Hall of Famer. Dennis Chantry. Bruce Smith, all right, Bruce Smith, Hall of Famer. One of the best defensive lands of all time. That dude was monster powerful. I remember him in the movie The Little Giants when he was scared of little kids, when he would like flex and be like, ah, and the kids would run away, be scared. Oh, look, he's sacking Warren Moon. Well, that's not surprising right here. Huh. That's why he's in the Hall of Fame. He would get to the quarterback, he would bum rush the, the blockers. Tony Casillas, Gary Clark, Harry Hamilton, Brian Blades. Michael Walter, Marion Butts, Ron Woodson, Ralph Woolley, Jerome Brown, Eric Mullen, Odysseus Turner, Pat Swilling, <laughs> and Arden. Anthony Carter, Mark Duper. Melvin Fernandez, and there's another one right here. Jackie Slater. Still looking for that Evan Smith rookie card. Barry Sanders. Oh, another one uh, with the great uh, late Reggie White. Uh, he should be here somewhere. So, actually, let me separate these. I almost finished with this pack. Rick Sanders. Kevin Murphy. Steve Largent, Hall of Famer. All right, he's one of the greatest receivers of all time. He had big time hands. Chris Haley, Charles Haley. I'm sorry, Charles Haley. Yeah, he was a big time defensive end with the 49ers and the Dallas Cowboys. Although I don't know why Charles Haley was there at the San Francisco game when he was when they were playing against the Cowboys this season. He was a uh, in, in the stands cheering for the San Francisco 49ers. But I'm, I will say when he made it with the Dallas Cowboys. He was a difference maker and it helped him get to the Super Bowl as well. Billy Ray Smith. Tim Warfy. Warley, I'm sorry. JT Smith. Right, there it is. Reggie White. The great Reggie White. Big time Hall of Famer. Won a Super Bowl with the with the Green Bay Packers. Johnny Hector. Carl Banks. John Forge, Harley Dykes. Oh, there's one right here. Steve Jordan. Furrow Edmonds. Willie Anderson. Greg Townshend. Mike Webster, Hall of Famer. Keith Taylor. Bruce Matthews. Johnny Holland, Richard Johnson, Darren Baxton, and Michael Irvin. All right. Michael Irvin, three-time Super Bowl champion. Number 88 with the Dallas Cowboys. Hall of Famer as well. I still like that quote when he was giving his Hall of Fame speech, and he said, look up, get up, and never give up. I was like, I still, to this day, I still follow that quote. I like that quote. Clay Matthews, Reggie Williams, Steve, oh, Steve Michael Bongo. Famous Bear for the 1985 Chicago Bears. And sadly, he's sick right now of ALS, and um, they say he's really, really sick, so I hope he's okay, but. Man, he was a big-time uh, defensive tackle. 
huge part of it when they won the, the, the Super Bowl in 1985 with the 1985 Bears. And after that, he went on to do wrestling for a while. And I think he did acting as well. Then I saw that documentary of the 85 Bears. And uh, yeah, he was really entertaining in that series. Yeah. Jim Kelly, Hall of Famer. Remember when they went up to, with the Dallas Cowboys won their Super Bowls. Marcus Colton. There. Ken O'Brien. Phil Sims. All right. Now he's two time Super Bowl winner. Teammates with Lawrence Taylor. Now, Phil Sims, right? Now, this is a guy that Dak Prescott should have played like. Phil Sims was mostly relying on that defense and was not turning the ball over like Dak Prescott does. If Dak Prescott had just relied on the defense and he would take care of the ball, he, we would still be in the playoffs and hopefully in the Super Bowl. But no. He thought, hey, no, good idea. I'm going to throw it to the guy that's covered by three, four receivers. And, and well, you saw the game. Ruben Mays. And you guys hear that barking? It's my dog. Who's uh, see that noise. She wants to come over here. Steve. Steve Wilk. Steve. Oh, John Stevens. Wade Wilson. Reggie Robbie. Kevin Green, Bo Jackson, all right, Bo Jackson. This is actually the first football card I have with Bo Jackson right here. I don't know if it's a action-packed football card. Oh, yeah, yeah, it's him. I mostly have a lot of his baseball cards when he was with the Royals, uh, Chicago White Sox. He was big in baseball. But, uh, yeah, this is uh, his first, first football card that I have. God, that's crazy that he was playing running back and baseball at the same time. Him and Deion Sanders. But Deion Sanders was probably more successful. Even though he didn't win the World Series, he played in one, though. That's so good. Derek Thomas, late great Derek Thomas, who was a famous linebacker. Clarence Vernon, Alonzo Highsmith, Brian Noble, Barry Sanders. All right, Barry Sanders, running back. Hall of Famer. This is his first... Uh, I think it's the first car, too, with Barry Sanders that I have, too, as well. I've been trying to find one, but better yet, man. Look at this card. 3D. Cool. Yeah, I can't ask for a better Barry Sanders card. Later on, I'm going to do research to see how much these cards are worth. Steve Walsh. Flex, Flex Wright. Icky Woods. Dan Hampton, another Hall of Famer. 1985 Chicago Bears. Famous defensive tackle, Hall of Famer. Okay. Scott Case. Fred Sermons. Monte Coleman. Bryce Hall. Joe Nash. Joe Montana. Look at that. Hall of Famer. Four time Super Bowl champion. Look at that. Super Joe. My dad was a big uh, San Francisco 49ers fan. He was rooting for the 49ers when they played against the Cowboys. Burt Grossman, Gary Anderson, Kevin Harvey, Andre Waters, Pete, Pat Lee, Mark, Coll whoops, Mark Collins, Sam Mills, Brett Williams, Randy McDaniel, Jim Hudson, Robert Topinio, Bob, whoops, Bob Bullock, Kevin Ross, Andre Rearson, was a decent wide receiver in the NFL. For all you know who don't know who Andre Rearson is, he was he dated uh, I forgot that woman from TLC, Lisa. They called her left. She called herself Left Eye, but yeah, she dated him. But yeah, they had some issues on off. The, yeah, they had issues. But I'm not going to get into what happened. But yeah, Bubba McDaniel. That's a weird name to have. Not weird name. That's a pretty cool name to have. Bubba. Bubba Go Shrimp. Kent Rudders. Jim Arnold. Craig Reagan. Everson Walls. Dyke Gash. Brad Muster. Tim Curie. Alvin Walton. Eugene Marv. Eugene Robinson. Mike Golfer. Gary Plummer. 
almost finished with these. Still looking for that Emmett Smith card. Emmett Smith rookie card. But so far, I'm satisfied with this set. We've got some really great Hall of Famers. Barry Sanders. We have, oh, Michael Irvin. Dan Hampton. Richard Dent. Uh, Stephen Michael. Yeah, plenty of white for Hall of Famers. Later, I'm going to look up to see how much those cards are worth. Especially for, for Action Pack. They should be worth something because these cards are rare and there's not a whole bunch of them. Greg Lloyd. Tim McDonald. Eric Allen, James Hasty, Mark Brevo, Nick Vaughn, Maurice Hurst, Joey Browner, Jeff Cross, Louie, and Eddie Anderson. Still no Evan Smith card. Let's finish with this. Steve Altwater, James Dixon, they look at that famous Dallas Cowboy. Frank in Ronnie Holdman, Kevin Butler, Kent Hole, John Settle, Wilbur Marshall. This guy used to play with the, the uh, Chicago Bears, 1985 Bears. He won a championship with them. Yeah, he was a big time running back. Yeah, see? 1985 Bears. Right there. And he's a hard hitter with them, too. Mark Robinson, Rufus Porter, Tom Rathman, Tim Spencer, David Little, Rich Camario, Wes Hopkins, Nick Lowry, Fred Young, Ray Childress, Danny Brown. Benny Blaze, David Treadwell, Jim Jeffcoat, Mike Johnson, Ricky Dixon, Jay Helderberg, Scott Norwood, Tim Green, Joe Riggs, and Donald Ikubuki. That's it, man. Really good cards. Oh, man, I really like this action pack. This action pack turned out way better than I thought it was. I thought since these company went out of business. I thought these cards were probably going to be good, but no, I was actually more than satisfied and shocked that it was way better than, it, than I anticipated. I even wish I would have gotten some of those cards when I was younger when I never, you know, in business, but uh, for some reason they, they weren't. I wish I would have gone. I wish I could find some uh, baseball action packed or basketball action packed. If you know guys know where I can find them, please let me know in the comment section. Paul Zodinski, <clears throat> Dean McIntyre, Gil Bird, Dane Wildrow, Lewis Sharp. I wonder if these guys are Let's just do uh, Shannon Sharp and Sterling Sharp. Mike Quick, Mikey Schwer, Leonard Marshall, Robert Massey. Andre Tibbet, or oh, yeah, he was a one of the famous Patriots. Gary Zimmerman, Sammy Smith, Jerry Gray, Howie Long, another Hall of Famer, Rice. Famous defensive end, two time Super Bowl champion, along with played with uh, Jimmy Pluckett and a uh, coach under John Madden, the great, the great Lane John Madden. Dino Hackett, Dwayne Beckett, Alan Pickett, Tim Harris, and Jerry, that dude's huge. Jerry Ball. Oh, no Emmett Smith card, but I'm not going to complain. I love the way this set was. Later on, I'm going to do research, see how much these cards were. Today was the opening to see what these 1990 action pack football cards had to offer back in the day. And so far, I am satisfied. Overly satisfied, actually. Uh, and, uh, does any, if anyone knows where I can get some more action packed, whether it's baseball, football, or basketball, please let me know in the comment section. And here I'm going to open the 1991 NFL football upper deck. And this one deck, we're looking for the 1991 Brett Favre uh, rookie card. That should be the most valuable one. Let's see what, what we do here. Seal, factory seal. This 1990. 1990 wrap gone. Look at this. I don't want to rip the box because it's, I'm not going to say antique, but it's from 1991 and I want to keep these. 
be very careful. <coughs> there we go. Look at that stuff. Look at that. Gee, look at the way this card is. This is a lot of cards for this small deck. Alright, looking for that 1991 uh, Brett Favre rookie card. So, go. Checklist right here. Oh, wow, look at this. Look at the pictures. Really good. Damn, 1991. Patches of time. All right, Nate Lewis, Jonathan Hayes. I really like the way he's looked. Derek Walker, Brian Jordan, Tootie Robbins, Keith Jones, Henry Rollin, Bill Moss, Greg Davis, down right here, Garth Jax. There's one card should have gone back with those old uniforms. They dropped them back in there. Steve Smith. Anthony Sheldon, Eric Hill, Ricky Ellison, Frank <clears throat> Frank Rich. You know, you guys don't know who Frank Rich is. He uh, the quarterback that landed against the uh, I forgot what team, but they were down by uh, twenty something points, and he came back to win the the football game. And that's to this day that that record's still there for the Buffalo Bills. I don't remember which team he played against, but. Um, it's, I think you look it up on YouTube, you know what I'm talking about, Frank Welsh, Reach. Jeff Corey, Pete Stoyanovich, Ethan Horton, Johnny Jackson, Tim McNair, Tim, jo Tim Jordan, Greg Reasons, man, look at that, God, look at these pictures, the way the way it looks, Chris Jackie, Bert Romanowski, yeah, he won four Super Bowls, two with the Denver Broncos and three with and two with the San Francisco uh, San, Fran San Francisco 49ers. It was crazy though. Saw him in the movie uh, The Longest Yard. Yeah, I just thought it was funny in that movie. Gary Plummer, Ron Holmes, Mike Gann, Michael Brooks, Vernon Turner. Yeah. John Davis, Mark Pryor, Mark Pryor, who was a big time safety back in the day. Rick Frerich, Michael Haynes, Donnie Beebe. You guys remember know who Donnie Beebe is? It was one that wide receiver who knocked the the ball out of that Dallas Cowboy uh, defenseman who was about to run for the touchdown. It was during that Super Bowl ring too, when the when the Cowboys won the second Super Bowl. Uh, Don Beebe ran uh, ran all the way, chased the the defensive tackle, and knocked the ball out of his hands right before he could score. Don Danny Villa, Danny Johnson, Jake Jagger, Jim Jeff Cope. Brian. Lionel Wash, Lionel Washington, Scott Mayu, Tom Benson, Eric Allen, Cody Carlson, John Fritz, Tom Tuba, Michael Young, Willie Dury, Gaston Green, Carl Wilson. Mark, whoops, Marcus Paul, Johnny Ritt, looking for that Brett Favre rookie card, Jim Morrissey, hope we'll get it, Greg Murgody, Ron Tapino, Ronnie Lott, Rob Thomas, Rory Craig, Aaron Cox, oh, is that it? Nope, Vaskiva, Bobby Bidouble, Grant Frieza, oh, I forget, Brett Favre was playing for the Atlanta Falcons when he was first drafted. So he's going to be in the Falcons uniform. He's green. Kenny okay, Woodson. Bill Farlick. Marvin Cook. Kirby Jackson. Stan Brock. And Darren Comer. Looking for that Brett Favre rookie card. Hopefully he's in here. He should be in here. But we still got plenty of cards to go. Lionel Seals, Chris Goody, 
Fifth Jackson, Eugene Daniel, Kurt Gardner, Kenny Porter, Steve McMichael, there you go, yeah, Mongo, here he goes again. I like that card. There you go. John Bailey, Hardy Nickerson, Gene Atkins, Robert Brown, Thomas Edward, Hard Higgs, Rufus Porter, George Jameson, Ken Willis, Dallas Cowboy, Chris Warren, Matt Brock, Robert Clark, Will Hartford, Joe Kelly, Eugene Marv, Mark Broyer, really just go Jazz logo, <clears throat> Hollick Bever, Donna Wolford, Mars Carthen, Ron Burnett, Matt Byer, and Wendo Davis. Still looking for that Brett Farm rookie card. When uh, Brett Farr was drafted in 1991 with uh, by the Atlanta Falcons, what's funny about that when uh, when he was drafted, he was on a boat, and he received a call that he was drafted by the the Falcons, and I guess he wanted to make an impression that he was not going to be out there, you know. I don't know what they call it, where they were all sitting down, it looks like a in the lobby where there's a whole bunch of people and they're in their suits and they're all being called up by the commissioner of the NFL to be selected by the team. He decided, no, I'm going to be there on the boat, out there in the ocean. <laughs> and that's how he was called that, uh, hey, you're being selected by the Atlanta Falcons. Made a bit press conference right from his boat. That was unusual. But he was not that good with the Atlanta Falcons and he was traded towards the the Green Bay Packers and you know the rest history. 1996 he won uh, Super Bowl. Steve Bruton, Henry Thomas, Ken Lanier, Tony Casillas, Jeff Bostig, John Drummond, Aaron Jones, Quinn Early, Brian Mitchell, Eric Ball, All right. Jeff Crystal. Eric Thomas, Brian Evans, Harris Barton, Ray Crockett, Brad Edwards, Lorenzo Lynch, Toy Cook, Dennis Gibson, Tim Harris, James Washington, Dallas Cowboy, Jeff Eagles, Steve Wallace, Craig Taylor, Brett Maxey, Joe Hanley, Anthony Smith, Daryl Thompson, Gil Fanting, whoops, Bryce Payup, Ricky Rounds, looking for that. Nate Newton, man. Nate Newton, big time offensive lineman for the Dallas Cowboys. You see Evan Smith right there, Bernie. Yeah, this guy was big. He was huge. Big time defensive tackle. I mean, offensive tackle. Him and Larry Allen, ooh man, they were unstoppable. They were you didn't want to be in front of that pack when they were blocking for Evan Smith. They'll beat the shit out of you. Alfred Anderson, Stan Humphreys, Al Smith, Flex Wright, Bruce Kukowski, Jane Bryan, Joey May, Rich Cannon. Ooh, look at that, Arch Rivals. That's a nice one. That's a nice card. Oh, another arch rival. Lorenzo White, Ken Tibbins. This is a nice insert right here. Still looking for that Brett Farrer root card. You never would have thought that, that dude would uh, be one of the greats, and he ended up throwing so many people on. He had a hard career, too, with the pain bill and stuff going at home. And 2007 last play for the Green Bay Packers and they end up losing to the New York Giants. Barry Sanders, insert, nice. With that, with Derek, the late great Terry Thomas. later. Jerry Rice, another insert. Jerry McDaniel. Whoops. Insert with uh, Deion Sanders. Yeah, it's Deion Sanders right there. 
when he was playing with the Atlanta Falcons. First for, for a while, he was teammates with Brett Favre. Jan Joseph. Rookie. Okay, here we go with the rookies. Here we go. Wesley Carroll. Darren Lewis. Bruce Bickens. Todd Light. Now, here we go with the Brett Favre rookie card right here. Look at that. It's a nice one. It looks perfectly good center as well. The picture's fine. Yeah, Brett Favre. When he was drafted by the Atlanta Falcons. For a Hall of Famer. Ricky Force. Look at that. We'll put that in the sleeve real quick. Brett Favre. He made it to the Super Bowl twice. He won one with, uh, nine, I think, 1996. It was his first one, last one. It's one where the where the Packers so uh, kick return return for a touchdown, and it makes me happy because the team they beat was the New England Patriots in that Super Bowl. So that makes me really happy. My brother's a New England Patriots fan, and I always kind of rub that in his face about that game. That and the one when the Patriots lost to the Philadelphia Eagles. I always call it the miracle of Philadelphia. It makes him pretty mad. And then he went on to play in the next Super Bowl against John Elway and lost in that one. Nothing wrong with that. Jake Reed, Benny Clark, Mitch Rubin, Anton Davis, Lawrence Daisy, William Thomas, Brett Farr right here when he's uh, with the rest of the rookies. That's right. Look at that. Should put that in the sleeve. If you guys had a choice between uh, Brett Favre and John Elway, who would you guys take? I'm going with John Elway. But who had the better arm? And they said Brett Favre had a gunslinger arm. John Warrior, Harvey Williams, Brian Neagle, Leonard Noah, uh, Russell, Alfred Williams, John Flannery, Nick Bell, Scott Miller. Keith Taylor, Daryl Lewis, Joe Graham, Henry, jo Henry Jones, Pat Harlow, Lero, Greg Lewis, John Juan, Michael Jackson? Michael Jackson, wide receiver, now Michael Jackson, the singer. Yeah, he can play ball. Kenny Walker, John Jefferson, Brian Cox, Mike Crow, Steve Curry, not Steve Curry, Shane Curry, I'm sorry, Ed Keane, almost finished here, Tim Barnett, James Jones, another insert with Denver. So these are the rookies with the Denver Broncos. Ken Burchett. Ricky Irvins, Herman Moore, Brooke Thurgram, Anthony Morgan, Russell Marilyn, Alvin Harper. Nice. And <clears throat> Alvin Harper rookie card. Now, this guy was a big time while I was here with the Dallas Cowboys. Helped him get the, to the Super Bowl, three time Super Bowl champion, and the Dallas Cowboys Ring Hall of Fame. Yeah, him and Michael Irvin were. Where the where B said wide receiver one and two. Let me put that in there. Randall Hall, Mark Garner, Steve Tan Thomas, and Anna Williams. I guess that's the end. Of, I guess that's the end of the video. Thank you for watching. Please uh, hit the like button, view, leave a comment section if you liked it or not. Please let me know because I know you're watching the the channel. And <coughs> excuse me, that'll be it. If you guys are wondering where I got these cars from, I got them from a store here called Time to Play in San Antonio. That's where I'm, I'm based at. And um, yeah, it's some good uh, prison cars, good sports cards, football, basketball, baseball, you name it. These I got it from there. Uh, so go check it out. Shout out to the uh, to the owner of Time to Play. It would uh. He has some nice cars. If you're looking for any cars, whether Pokemon or Digimon or Sports, yeah, that's the store to go to. Man. And there's plenty of other stuff too. I got the, the Action Pack online and the 1991 football deck online as well for 
pretty good price. I, I got this one for 50 bucks, and the cards that I got in here are, way, are like valued as way over that, the ones for the Hall of Famer. So definitely pay up the box. And the Brett Favre rookie card in here. Definitely pitch for this box because I think the that card's worth at least a hundred bucks or something. I would think. I might look it up later. But thank you for watching, and uh, go go Chiefs.